video is on how to import data using an Excel spreadsheet. Now, this is very quick and very easy. Right now, I have a brand new database open. You can already have an existing database. It works exactly the same. You're going to go to External Data, New Data Source, and we're going to pull from a file, and we're going to pull from Excel. It wants to know the Excel file, so you have to find that file. Here's my file. I'm going to tell it to open. Now right here it's going to ask you, do you want to import or do you want to link? And for this assignment, we want to import the information because we want the information to be taken from an Excel file and brought directly into an access table. We don't want to link the two. Because once you move your access database or you send me the database, it won't have that Excel spreadsheet to, to link to. So make sure you choose Import. I'm going to tell it OK. It knows there's one worksheet, and it's called the Customer's Worksheet. So I'm going to go to Next. It's asking if my first row contains column headings, and yes, it does. And so now it just moved it up as my field names. I'm going to click Next. It's asking me some information, and I'm going to let all that default. It wants to know if I want a primary key, and that's fine. I'll let that default. It wants to know what I'd like to call it. I'm going to call this Customer's Table, and I'll tell it to Finish. And I'll tell it to Close. It then took all that information from Excel, and it just brought it right into, into Access and created a table. And that's it. That's all you have to do. If you have questions, please email me at learn at vegetarianhomeschooler.com.